Good morning. Ooh. I'm getting too used to these uh, days off. <laughs> oh. So, no, oh, did I put the ladder properly? It is 10 past 10. And I'm going to head to the gym. I didn't think I was recording then. Um, story of life. Hello, fuel. I'll tell you what, with the cost of petrol going up and all the flipping adventures I've been going on, Phoebe, why is this leaking? Phoebe is drinking petrol like it's water. I don't know what would happen if you did put a bit of water in your petrol tank. I wouldn't do it, but I'm just, you know. What would happen? I feel like it's getting close to Phoebe also needing her first valet. Like, why does my boyfriend leave this in my car? This in my car. in my car this in my car like max take your take your rubbish with you when you get out please so i've got my oxy shred here i was quite hungry this morning um i wanted to try fast foot my belly had other ideas so i had a crave bar and two of those little snicker things if you watch my last vlog i was just about to put my seatbelt on and it's already on um, <clears throat> so on today's agenda, gym, <laughs> petrol, and then I need to go to Boots to get some nail glue because this nail is lifting. Well, the rest of them are doing okay, but this one she wants to lift off. I mean, my nail glue was on its last legs when I last did my nails. Um, because of the new practice that I'm moving to, I'm not allowed to have anything on my nails I don't know how I feel about this I don't know how it's gonna work um, they haven't said anything about my nails at the minute this is majority my nail I do just have a builder on it um, but I might just put like one layer of builder on and then like buff it so that the top coat isn't shiny and see if I can get away with that just because if I have nothing on my natural nails, I'm not going to have any natural nails left. I will literally just destroy them. Um, and we already know what I'm like with my SPD. So it's not looking great at the minute. Um, the picking has like gone all the way around to the other side, which that's a new one. Uh, this one's pretty bad. So yeah, fun fun. So that's why I always have something on my nails because I end up with no nails and then the tips of my fingers end up really swollen and like opening products and bending my fingers has been a little bit hard but I'm used to it. Um, so yes, yesterday was a very good day for food. It was my first proper day in my big deficit and then London is going to be the test because so I'm going to London again this weekend um, yeah that's going to be the struggle I'll see what I can do I'll see I'll see I'll see um, what was I going to say I've just edited my last London video I'm gonna start uploading that whilst I'm in the gym. Um, and then I think I've got another video after that that I just need to put together. And then it will be back up today. It's just crazy. And I'm on day 26 of 50 of the whole working out before I'm 30. So doing really well. Wet hair. 
Yeah, so abs and cardio done. Um, so during lockdown, when I decided to take the natural hair out, I sold all of my hair products. No, hair stylers, heat stylers. Um, do you know what? This water bottle is seriously starting to get on my nerves. I think it's fallen out of my car too much, but like, why are you leaking? The lid is on. I do not understand. I'm not going to be able to put it on a hook. Oh, it's on bloody green. Are you on a hook? Oh, no, it fell. That, that was not a hook. Um, are you at least still on No. Ah! Uh, a hydro drug was a good idea um so yeah i bought that hair curler that other one that i've been using um a few months back and it's all right but it's not my favorite so i think i'm gonna sell that one i've still got the box and everything so i'll just stick it on the but i repurchased off a girl Babelous Pro Curl 210, I want to say. Um, and I think I've been delivered already. I literally bought it yesterday morning and I just thought, oh, let me track that up. And I think it's been delivered. I've had it delivered to Max's because I thought it was going to arrive tomorrow. So I'm just trying to get to his now. So they leave the porch open for deliveries because his mum's addicted to Amazon. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's just going to be in the porch because Max has my house keys for their house. Or his mum could be in, she might not be in the office today, so. I'm just going to quickly drive there to see if I can get my hair curler. Because obviously after I've tied in my bedroom and everything, I'm going to wash my hair. And start the prep for London. So yeah, I'm going to nip to those now. And then I'm going to go to Boots and get petrol. I was going to go to B&M's because for some reason I've randomly decided that I'm going to get some party rings which are these like little, I don't even know how to describe them because they're not a big, well they're probably like a thin iced biscuit, if you know you know, but I'm like do I need them? Because the issue that I've been having lately is that my sweet tooth is like on high alert, it's just all I want is sweet stuff, I don't want savoury stuff at all. because the window is behind me um let me see if this makes it better a little uh, uh, here it is I've missed it so much The lady on Vintage was so nice. Oh, it is, for anyone wondering, a 25mm barrel. Um, so, yes, let me... Has she even used this? I feel like it's literally brand new. Cannot wait to get this room tidied. I'm literally going to be so savage and just chuck things away in a black bag and then hopefully my dad will take me to the tip so I can literally just chuck it away. I've filmed like a before clip in my bedroom and then I will film an after just because I'm not showing you now, it's actually embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing. My bedroom is tiny and I have a lot of stuff um, but a lot of it is just clutter that I don't need. 
and she works so yeah i can leave her a good review obviously i'm not going to be using it till like wow that's like to heat up really quick in that tiny little tiny 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 little section so what i'm gonna do is um just in the box. I do, i'm literally like going through my drawers and everything um i'm probably gonna take some of the black bags to my mum's because me and my dad don't use our bin so i don't know what can go to the tip and what um so i'll probably take it to my mum's actually uh, but I got some nail glue. I do like Bootsy's own. I, the other one that I got was just like a normal nail glue, but they did a brush on, so I picked that up. Look at this. Can you see? Full on lifting. I decided I was going to go all out. It's the last time I'm going to be able to wear nails for the foreseeable. So I just picked up some nail tips. Um, because my mum wants me to do her nails as well. So I thought, you know what? I'll just get some and I can do my mum's nails. Depending on if I get my room done, I might do her nails tonight. So I can maybe show you that. Um, and then I also picked up this daily exfoliator from Neutrogena. I'm very lucky that my skin isn't bad. Like I feel like a lot of people would say my skin isn't bad at all. But to me, it is horrendous. So breaking out down here... Um, and it is so textured. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. All those little... Can you see how textured my skin is? And my skin is usually not textured. So to me, I'm just like, my skin is horrendous. And because my big birthday is coming up, I just want it to be perfect for my birthday. So I'm going to start using this with my brush. What is that brush? The Vanity Planet base brush. So yeah. I'm going to start working on my skin, but first things first, this bedroom. Um, I've probably got about 10 minutes or so until my lunch is ready. Um, I'll show you that when it is done. But yeah. Let's get chucking. Here is my lunch. It's a Wolverton soft pita, just with the southern fried chicken goujons that I had last night so I just thought I'd finish them off super simple and easy just with some ketchup <laughs> uh, I couldn't fit them all in so mm, a little bit hot so yeah I'm currently in my room <sighs> don't so I'm three quarters of the way through my desk it's looking a lot better but I literally just found all of this stuff that I just don't need and I found a website by the time this goes up I don't know if I would have had my coat back I probably wouldn't have had my coat back um but it's called Vintage Cash Cow and literally send them all of your old stuff and they'll give you a prize for it so they even accept costume jewellery I've got so much costume jewellery so I'm just packing it all up into this box waiting for my label to come and hopefully I'll get some money for my stuff. Like, I have this old camera. Because I don't vlog on this. I literally vlog on my phone. Um, I feel like the quality is good enough on my phone. Um, so I'm going to send that off. Um, I've got these two watches. A Michael Kors and a Diesel. <coughs> what he did i just had a call with them and he said they don't pay for like the brand they literally pay for the parts but i'm just literally gonna put these on um vintage for like 30 40 pounds so i'm really not bothered um and then if you don't like the quote that they offer you they will literally send you all your stuff back and then you can <coughs> try to sell it somewhere else so it's not no loss if I don't get the amount that I want for my stuff but um yeah I just thought I would pop that on if any of you want to get rid of all of your old tap like I've just got it all I'm like I don't wear it I'm just gonna sell it I'm just gonna send it off to these guys so actually I was gonna chuck this away but I'm just gonna chuck all the jewelry bits in here um because why not these are old earrings um so yeah 
have to see what I can get for my tap. Um, yeah, I've got so much cotton jewelry and I just don't wear it. So I'm going to send it to these guys, see what I can get for my money, honey. I've always had these music things for so long. But yeah. Why not, eh? They take like tangled necklaces and everything, so that's alright, isn't it? Like, it is sad because my nana bought me all of these things for like, um, what's it called? up TV and stuff but I just don't wear them and I know she'd rather me I won't get rid of this one this one was my ultimate favorite one this I won't get rid of this one because I love that one so much uh, but all the rest like I don't need these and my cousin Chloe did take the one that she wanted last time so I know that I'm not getting rid of anything that she would want. So yeah, just thought I would share that with you guys in case you've got stuff that's just in the way, like clogging things up, you know? Just get rid of it, okay? You don't need it. Like this necklace, who remembers Dolly Bobble? They might give me four pounds for that. That's four pounds I didn't have before. I don't know how much they give you for your stuff, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's just sat collecting dust so it can go. So, yeah. If you want to check it out, check it out. I'll let you know what my quote is. Um, I don't know if it'll even be in my next video. I'm not sure, but I will keep you posted. Because I'm not allowed to wear jewellery in dentistry, I've got like my Tiffany on here and everything, I'm not giving them my Tiffany, but like <laughs> my Tiffany's there, my sore screw that Max got me because I'm not allowed to wear them for work, so they just don't get warm. It's such a shame. Like my Pandora, I need to find out how to clean a Pandora because it's literally so dirty. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wipe it. But yeah, we were out of black bags, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna walk up to B&M to get some black bags because I filled one and then my dad has just used one. I feel like that kind of worked. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get some black bags from B&M. I've already filled one. Um, I'm just checking what is here. I don't want to spend off like things that are mine. Like this is my turtle necklace off Max. Or the ocean, so she cannot go. Does anyone else do that? Like I give things a gender, like she. Or turtle female? Is that a really stupid question? But yeah. Why not? So yeah. See you in a bit. So it is quarter past six. I'm still going. Honestly, this would have been done sooner, but I don't, I don't work fast. I'm such a slow, well I say that, but I have organised like three or two of the drawers that are in my desk where like I literally took everything out, wiped it. So I guess I kind of have done a lot. Um, 
but now I'm just going through and sorting out the stuff that is on my bed. Um, there's something else that I did as well. Um, oh, I did spend a little bit of time trying to find somewhere that would buy all my old BBBs, but no one wanted to buy them, so my dad's going to donate them. Um, and I'm not sorting out all the drawers on my desk because that would be wrong. The fact that I've done as much as what I've done, I think, is a miracle. But yeah, it's quarter past six, and I'm not overly hungry but i am starting to get hungry um so i do still have to go for a walk because i've only got 5880 something steps in so my uniform is at my mum's so i might actually walk to my mum's to pick up my uniform because i don't think it's going to rain um so I think I should be okay to do that. I mean, who even knows with this weather, but I do need to wash my hair anyway. So if I do get rain, then it's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, um, there is that as well. still all day but progress has been made ultimately the goal of the day was to go to the gym and to tidy my room which is what I would have done so not too bad Ooh, um, Max has gone to this festival that's been on not too far away from us for the past two weeks well, this is the second week. Um, so he's there tonight and tomorrow night. Oh. Uh, so I could technically wash my hair tomorrow night um, if this all does get too late. So I'm just thinking out loud I mean that's pretty much what vlogging is isn't it thinking out loud London is two days away I'm so excited always check my pockets I have my glasses in there My wardrobe is so so full. I really should put that stuff away properly, but I just chuck it up there. At some point, I will have to go through and organise all this because it's just I haven't got what needs to be hung. Okay. Oh. I'm pretty proud of myself. I definitely need a better solution for my clothes because I just got far too many. Far too many. Oh yeah. I don't know if I shared it in the vlog or not, but for my birthday, a lot of weeks early, my uncle got me an Udi. Udi? Udi? Um, and it's a friend's one and it's just amazing so it's not quite the weather for it yet I did have it on the other night and I was like wow and this is warm um, but yeah he got me that not much left which is good I used two full black bags and um two full black bags and got rid of really lots of other stuff 
so not too bad at all. Never ending, never ending. So many jackets, so many jackets. And my room is done. Um, I will insert the clip of the transformation. I know it was bad. Um, that is life of depression. If I'm being honest, I literally just lived in that. I didn't, there was, yeah, I just lived in it. Um, but yeah, like, I have floor space. I couldn't, there was no floor, no floor. Like, it, I've not hoovered, so don't judge it, because I've not hoovered it. But like, there, there's literally just masses of shoes and clips and I was standing on things, breaking things, and I didn't care. Ooh! And now it's tidy. Anyways, I'm gonna walk to my mum's now. It's quarter to eight. I think all that I'm gonna achieve when I get back is a bath and my nails because she died. So I will show you my nails when I get back. I'm gonna do them along. I'm gonna break the rolls for the last week and a half at my current place. Why not? Why not? Take a second chance. Uh, comment down below. What what movie is that from? I just realised that I never ended that vlog, so I'm gonna end it here now because I'm gonna start another one. Um, can't remember what was just in it, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in a couple of days with another one.